here is uh, uh, <clears throat> need to post Okay, Bowen. Uh, so we need to post the some uh, depreciation. Uh, what what are those things? Uh, WDV method, uh, return down value method also, right? Uh, so need to post the need to post the uh, return down value method. Uh, So need to post the uh, return on value method. So I mean till now we have seen the uh, straight line method uh, depreciations, but uh, we need to see the return on value method depreciations also for WDV and uh, they are these things, right? Uh, so you have seen the uh, WDV method, sorry, slight straight line method. Now we will going to see the return on value method. Okay, no issue. Can you go to the uh, what are those things? See, we have calculated the written down value method, sorry, SLM method of uh, depreciation uh, with uh, 15 percentage and this is 10 percentage, right, Pawan? Right now, what we need to do is, OK, good. What we need to do is we will going to create one, a new asset. OK, so we have, uh, I mean, calculated the depreciation on, uh, uh, I mean, depreciation on main asset. OK, based on the SLM method, right? We will going to calculate the WDV depreciation. OK, for this uh, new asset. OK, no issue. Go to the SAP system. No need to write any point and all. Go to the SAP system. Go to the SAP system and give the user ID and password. And password. Uh, give the user ID and password. And uh, now uh, give slash in and go to the transaction code. Go to the transaction code AS01. Asset new creation. Okay, give the asset class. Mm. Give the company code automatically it will come. Yeah, take out the asset machinery asset class. Mm. Continue. And the number of assets is one. Click on the enter. Oh, no issue. And give the de uh, description as a second oil refinery machinery. Second oil refinery machinery. Okay. Second oil refinery machinery. Second oil refinery. Uh, or else, you, no, 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 not the machinery. This is a plant and a plant and machinery. Second oil uh, plant and uh, oil refinery plant and machinery. Plant and machinery. And the next, come. can you come down? Can you come down? Uh, Give the capitalization date is 01.0 uh, 01.11.2022. OK, good. Uh, can you go to the depreciation areas? Go to the depreciation areas and give the book depreciation. Depreciation key is uh, P02. I think so. 
give a p0 or 2 go up go up give p0 2 okay then give the useful life is uh, 4 years same thing click on the enter go to the save button and save it now this asset is created right go to the notepad and write down this asset that is main asset okay main asset is 20 give the bracket uh, 20 this is second oil refinery machinery right okay plant and machinery sorry ah uh, yes can you go to the transaction code f-90 and we will go into purchase this asset from the vendor okay go to the transaction code f-90 and give the document date as 01.11.2022 and the posting date is 01.11.2022 and the document header text is purchasing uh, second asset purchasing second asset good uh, then next one is purchasing second asset and the posting key is uh, 31 and the account is posting key is 31 and the account is uh, 16 click on the enter and uh, give the amount as uh, give the amount as uh, can you give uh, 60000 no issue no uh, text is purchasing purchasing no no not this thing purchasing second asset uh, remove all this thing purchasing second asset purchasing second asset second asset asset okay then posting key is 70 posting key is 70 and then next to uh, account date is, account uh, is uh, uh, second oil refinery asset take out that one and uh, transaction type is 100 click on the enter enter uh, give the amount as a star text as plus click on the enter go to the document simulate option once again uh go to the save button and save it okay good can you give slash n can you give slash n uh go to the transaction code aw01n we will going to see aw01n okay so this uh, written down value method has been calculated okay can you go to the posted values pawn can you go to the posted values come down come down go up go up hmm come down okay this is for the 10 11 12 why it is posting 10 11 and 12 see for each and every vendor we have got this thing why we have got this thing why because already you have closed posted the unplanned depreciation for the particular vendor right based on the company codes and all so that is why the system will not post the each and every value of the this asset okay so automatically it will going to add each and every depreciation for the next month okay for this month it is it will not going to add you got the point so automatically Uh, what is the depreciation that we have 461 501 okay 1512 see this is the eighth month okay ninth and tenth month for the tenth month also it is adding each and everything that is 1512 rupees it is it is not going to add why because see for the particular vendors and all so you have uh, uh, run the plan unplanned depreciation for the two months okay so that is why it is not taking the each and everything you got the point so that is the main important thing right now we have um, then what we need to do see uh, i mean all the depreciations for the first and second month it will going to add in the third month okay you got the point now we will going to see after the calculation of the depreciations and all automatically eighth period and ninth period will coming into the picture okay you got it uh what we need to do is can you go to the slash n uh, can you go to the slash n uh, 
or else uh, now you can just go to that thing uh, pavan aw01n okay we have to have comparisons also mm, go to the transaction go to the comparison values okay now it is posting right so depreciation written down value method okay the next step. okay no issue pavan uh, can you go to the uh, depreciation uh, postings using transaction code afab go to the transaction code afab okay pavan uh, so can no 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 need to give like this see you have to post the uh, one thing right and this has been carried out from one period to the another period ninth period to the tenth period and eighth period and ninth period posted values has been carried to the tenth period okay in that scenario what we need to do we have to repeat the depreciation okay you got the point that is the reason for this uh, posting runs and all you can just give ninth ninth period okay then next here this is the repeat run this is not the unplanned run okay already we have done with the unplanned runs and all then this is the repeat run and uh, here you have to take the main asset number also you have to take the main asset number also main asset number also okay no 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 take out the main asset number that is 2 2 2 2 Take out the main. No, no, no. Give the sub asset number is zero. Main asset number uh, is changed, right? That is second. Okay. And uh, yes. Now uh, what we need to do is yes. Can you go to the execute button? Execute button. Ah, uh, yes. Mm, no issue. Okay. Now you got the point, right? Test run is completed. for 2 months it has been posted okay how much that is 1000 uh, 3 rupees okay no worries come back come back see this is the repeat run okay why because you have i mean you have uh, bought one uh, i mean two purchase uh, sorry two main assets sorry one main asset and one sub asset and you have uh, uh i mean posted each and every depreciation right for the unplanned and all unplanned is over for the particular vendor when it comes to the another of asset and all it has been um, carry forward that balances from 8th and 9th period to the 10th period okay that is very very important right now in the repeat depreciation what we need to do is uh, can you remove the test run and remove the main asset number also remove the test run and uh, remove the main asset numbers also okay so we will go to uh, post the depreciation go to the program and execute in the background and give the lp01 uh, presented uh, give lp01 okay and go to the check yes uh, immediate the check and go to the save button okay now the background job is uh, posted right okay now what we need to do here is uh, go to the system go to the system uh, go to the uh, services go to the jobs and go to the job overview uh, go to the execute button execute button okay now you have you you don't have any uh, errors right and we have got uh, some spool list test and all on the 1932 11 job was started okay uh, can you give a, a slash in no 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 go to the another uh, create new session you do one thing another create new session and go to the aw01n aw01n okay okay right can you refresh this button pawan refresh this button uh all right can you go to the posted values go to the posted values next come down see now you got the point right on the ninth period this eighth period amount is posted okay with the help of this two periods all the depreciations are posted okay that is 1003 rupees 
that is main important thing can you go to the afab once again i think uh, that screenshot is not there right ah uh, you do one thing bowen can you double click on this thing okay this is how we can post uh, repeat runs i mean repeat and, uh, and all okay that is very very important bowen you have to know and they will going to ask you the, this thing so for each and every vendor you have posted the and uh, depreciation runs yeah. but when it comes to the repeat runs and all so will you going to take the next month or previous month they will going to ask you the questions on this okay that is very very important go to the fb03 transaction code pawan go to the fb03 transaction code slash in fb03 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 uh, go to the document list this go to the document list no 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 here go to the document list no need to worry and take out the 2022 and the next one is okay and go to the execute button okay now one more uh, depreciation is posted can you double click on this thing okay this is the main thing depreciation account data to the accumulated depreciation account creditor you got the point so give slash in and uh, in next session uh, we will going to see um, asset selling process and uh, i mean with the customers and all without customer then scrapping of an asset <laughs> no issue